Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new here, my name is Rose Basimra and today we are doing the yet another Netflix review. And today we are, it's a movie this time. I've already I've been doing series, if you've noticed series, reality series, but today it's a movie. So it's called The Love Birds. Love Bird is under the comic comedian kind of genre so i'm not really into that but it was you know i was seeing it was so popular around the searches and all that so i decided to actually check it out and i first got pissed to be honest i got pissed i'm not used to comedy and it was like too much like what why are you doing this why are you doing that that like, this is super magic this is super that say this like i was then i thought that it's not really more perturbing on uh, the reality part of it it's more of just to make you laugh and to push that thing as i don't such people really exist that are so dumb so it's like they're just too dumb people in love and they <laughs> I don't know at first I got pissed I almost removed it because I'm not like into used to watching things that are comic comic comedian like like too comedian like there's there's that thing that has a little comic which is okay but this one was like too comedy like like too dumb something like that and it kind of I didn't kind of get it at first because it's not my kind of things to watch but I gave it a chance and as time went on actually started enjoying it in its own way i really did start enjoying it so if you're like a comedy fan you can jump straight into it you're going to see a familiar face our main actress the lead role i've forgotten her name i'm very sorry and ashamed but you're going to find it actually a fun <laughs> yeah so why you would watch this is if you want to have a good laugh if you're used to watching comedy and you actually enjoy it that much you would actually really really have a good laugh about it it was released last month and another thing is of course it has some like one session okay it has like a few you know how come it doesn't have deep, you know sexy romance stuff but it has a few which can hit you here and there literally it's just like a joke you can have and if you want to get pissed like me you can if you're not someone who does comedy, you can actually jump into it and get copies like me. <laughs> anyway, um, it contains it contains of course comedy, um, madam, investigation, dumbness, <laughs> something you know, sexy romance parts, um, friendships, um, united to be friends, family. I don't know what to call it though. <laughs> Ethnicities. So it's funny that when we are the negative part I take away from it is that like if you're not into comedy, it will kinda take you long to get a grasp on it, you'll get angry, and that's what I did. But as time goes on, you can actually get it. And of course the sensual part is not if it's kinda there. So if you have to have parents, don't watch it with them. But that's like one part you can watch the other with them then with the partridges just excuse yourself and pretend you're like going to watch the car <laughs> anyway yeah that's the negative part i take about it on my percentage i'm not going to give it a percentage because i'm kind of biased not being part of the so much comedy world so much dumbness in a movie that's actually good in its own way so i'm not going to give a percentage but if you want to have a good laugh and get engaged because you're engaged when you're, you're pissed you're engaged if you're laughing you're engaged you could actually go in and watch this so yeah the love birds thank you very much for watching i remember your girl rose basamira and bye oh someone asked me once where i got these earrings from i got them from nairobi kenya they're actually really really nice i like them i like african stuff but that's what I'm going to talk about. Maybe we'll do that another time. Bye! All on the first day.